How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Series 20, the high performance update has just been announced. We've got a bunch of new cars, which are really good for once. We've got an evolving world, a new oval race, lots to talk about. Here is everything you need to know about the full Series 20 update. We're going to start off with a festival playlist and all of the new cars within that, and then we'll talk about the evolving world changes and everything else. So the full series is obviously the high performance update, and for 80 points, you can get the Ferrari 599XX, and for 160 points, the McLaren F1. The first week, which is summer, for 20 points, you can get the Huracan STO. That has finally been added to the game. It's been leaked for a while now. It's finally good to see that it was a true leak, and it is being added to the game. 40 points, you can get to the KTM Expo GT4. The Forzathon shop that first week has stuff like the Lotus Elise GT1, the R8 V10 Plus, the Windows Tadar Horn, and an Extreme E yellow suit. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that first week. Second week, which is autumn. For 20 points, you can get the second new car of this month, the Porsche 935, sort of a race spec version. For 40 points, you can get the Neo EP9. The Forzathon shop that second week has stuff like the McLaren P1, the Chola, however on earth you say that, the quick draw emote, and a red suit. Here are the rest of the challenges available that second week. If you're enjoying this video guys and it's helpful please do consider subscribing it helps out massively let's continue third week which is winter for 20 points you can get the third new car of this month the audi rs6 from 2021 and for 40 points the noble m600 i'm sure you're noticing by now that all of the new cars this month so far are pretty damn cool forzathon shop for that third week has the agera rs the aston martin db11 the mexican traffic light horn and a black speed trap t here are the rest of the challenges available that third week. Fourth week, which is spring. For 20 points, you can get the fourth and final new car for this month. Only four new cars, but it's a good one. The Porsche Mission R. I hadn't even heard of this car till this update. For 40 points, you can get the Jaguar XKR S. Porcelain Shop for that fourth and final week has the Rimac Concept 2, the BMW M1, a thumbs up emote and watermelon crew socks. Here are some screenshots of the rest of the challenges for that final week. That is the full festival playlist and the four new cars. Now let's speak about the evolving world and more specifically the high speed oval circuit that now populates the stadium. So as we can see here, a bit of information about that. The Horizon Stadium has been transformed into an oval circuit decorated with various Horizon race inspired props. That's pretty boring. It does say that this area is obviously only around for the high performance series only for one month, but the track itself has been permanently added to the game as a race route, which is really cool. And if you read it further on, it's also a new event lab build stub area. So that's cool as well. If I have any gameplay or screenshots of the oval, I will have them on screen right now. If I don't, I'm sorry, I don't have them. What's the perfect place for, you know, testing your high performance cars? So yeah, yeah it's the natural place to go. Going right? around in circles as well. Yeah. yeah. You're quite thick about it. Actually. Yeah. So Chris has obviously done a couple of laps. Um, it's on the smaller side of uh, oval, just oval circuits. There's you know, existing circuits in the US that are, you know, a similar sort of size to our stadium. Um, so we definitely took those as inspiration. Um, and then as Chris is drifting around the infield here, we've got like, you know. Now they have actually added a ton of new accolades that are all allocated towards this new Evolving World Stadium. We're going to have, I'm going to scroll through them all on screen right now. Now it's quite a lot of accolades and I'd suggest you get straight on this because as you know, after this 
month, you will no longer be able to do all of these accolades in free roam. You'll only be able to do them within the race. Most of the accolades are doable in the race, but some of them are free roam specific. So if you want to complete all accolades, you're going to have to get on these while it is in free roam. What else have we got? Well, we've got some returning PR stunts, which is sort of evolving world related. We have four speed traps, including the Horizon Baja, East Resort, Pantano Pass and Talum. I probably butchered all of those pronunciations and then two new or two returning speed zones as well they will only be available for this series so if you want to smash them you got to do them now there is a new collectible which is only obtainable in the second week of the festival playlist and it is a pinata helmet collectible found around the horizon festival mexico you can you will complete a challenge by smashing through it and you will unlock a chat phrase through forza link once again, this is only available through the second week, so you got to get on that if you want the benefits. And as you can see, it's also a new Event Lab prop as well. We have some new badges. Players can now unlock new profile badges based on the number of unique cars stored in their garage. There will be a Ghost badge, a Blue Heart badge and a T-Rex badge for earning 500, 607 cars. I have no idea what a ghost, a blue heart or a T-Rex has to do with owning cars, but fair enough. There's a little bit of character customization added in this update as well, where you will have your hearing aid or prosthetics adapt to the color of your skin tone. So that's cool, I guess. There's been a ton of bug fixes. Now, obviously, they only usually note some of the notable bug fixes in the blog. So I have some of the notable bug fixes that have been sorted in this update. There's going to be a lot more, but we'll not know about them until we get the full change log. Um, again, there's lots of ways to figure out if issues are being fixed or sorted through the troubleshooting hub and the Forza website. So don't be too annoyed if your issue isn't fixed on here. And they're not really bugs or fixes, but there have been some features and quality of life changes in this update as well. One of my favorite ones is the requirement to bind Anna and Forza Link on the D-pad while creating a custom controller profile has been removed. If you know what that means, that was a very big annoying thing that really annoyed me. They've actually sorted that along with everything else that they've plonked on this screen as well. So it's there's not much in this update, but the things that are in this update are quite cool. Like there's only four cars, but the four cars are really cool. The evolving world we got is pretty damn cool. So another, another W for an update in my opinion. What update do we have next? What preview do we have? Well, we can expect new photo mode improvements and unique overlanding modifications for select vehicles that will be essential for completing new Pathfinder accolades. So we'll find out more about that in May. Obviously, we're not in May at the moment, so we're not going to bother focusing on that update. But that is next. We can see it will be called Explore the Horizon. It will have photo mode update, overlanding modifications, new cars and Pathfinder accolades, as I literally just said. Obviously, let us know in the comment section below what you think of this update. I'm curious to know. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. I'll see you all later.